Let's get started. So my name is Adeni Abioden. I'm one of the co-founders of a company called Mist and Labs. We are the original creators of a project called SWE. SWE is actually almost two years old now. Um, I want to give you a bit of an update of what's been going on since uh, we started SWE till now. Um, a year ago, we announced uh, when SWE was barely a year old, um, we we had uh, something like three million daily active wallet, um, about three million uh, three million um, wallets. The network was growing at a very interesting rate, but what we've done since then is we've seen tremendous growth in the ecosystem. We've got overall um, transaction volumes increased significantly. We've had TVL drop um, increase to uh, close to $2 billion, and the amount of developer activity that we see in the ecosystem continually, continually grows on a week-by-week -week basis. So even in that same time frame, beyond just shipping SWE, ZK login, a lot of amazing features, we've also launched a storage, global storage network called Walrus. So Walrus um, mainnet went live less than a month ago. It's already one of the largest um, storage networks in the market. So what you're going to keep seeing from the Mission Labs team is the propensity to keep shipping, shipping at a very high level, but overall giving people, developers, the platform they need to build more compelling use cases in crypto. And to solve that, you need, you need to go beyond just the L1. Our belief is you need a plethora of tools, algorithms, um, primitives to actually build next generation businesses. So as we mentioned, um, daily active wallets have gone over a million in SWE ecosystem. Um, DeFi is up 1.7 billion. We've had a 3x increase in the number of um, um, transactions since last year. SWE is the fastest growing network in crypto at this moment in time. Um, it's actually one of the youngest, but if you plot its trajectory versus other crypto in the same time frame, SWE's outperformed the market significantly. Um, our repertoire of, of, of um, protocols keep increasing. Um, we last year updated our consensus algorithm to Mississippi, so fastest end-to-end -end finality, something around 400 milliseconds end-to-end -end finality. People woke up one morning, their apps were just three times faster. Um, D-Book is a central, liquid, um, central limit order book built on a blockchain. It allows you to trade at really rapid rates. It's done oh, close to six billion in trade. Um, SweeNS is a decentralized naming service. We're gonna be announcing some updates to SweeNS where you could use it as a global messaging layer. Um, separately as well, Walrus, as I mentioned, a global storage layer went live as well. And at the same time, we're launching a global secrets management service called Seal. Again, always innovating, always pushing the boundaries of what's possible, but all these components make it easy for developers to build compelling use cases in crypto beyond just an L1. So you have SWE as a coordination layer, and you have these products, these other protocols on top that lets you build. If you want to build WhatsApp, you can build it in a decentralized form. If you want to build the next Facebook, you can build it in a decentralized form. And uh, L1 alone doesn't solve that problem for you. So what else are we looking forward to? So Ica is a protocol that's launching on SWE soon. It lets you control assets and other chains using um, the move programming languages on SWE. So very, very soon you'll be able to control your Solana assets straight from SWE, your Bitcoin assets straight from SWE, all without the need for bridges. It's gonna provide you a native experience of actually transacting on other chains using SWE as a coordination layer. And Aftermath is launching a fully on-chain purpose dex directly on SWE soon. We've had the addition of um, Phantom and Backpack as wallets in the SWE ecosystem. And overall, we have institutions who are building directly on the blockchain. We're working with the likes of um, Grayscale, Van Eck, um, Franklin Templeton, um, World Liberty Financial. And SWE has over four, um, four native stablecoins, and we'll be announcing tomorrow another large native stablecoin that we'll be launching on the platform as well. Um, BTC, BTC increase uh, or utility is something we're very, very uh, mindful of, and we, we're, we, I think we have over five different types of um, Bitcoins from various providers today, and that's only increasing. There'll be other native implementations of BTC directly on SWE, but the hope this year is to grow the amount of um, TVL in the Bitcoin space directly on SWE. We believe SWE has a great propensity to give utility to Bitcoiners than has ever been possible before. So, interesting um, to talk about, um, you know, the builders. Um, we've had a significant increase um, of um, daily active developers on the SWE platform, over 200% growth. And we've also seen um, over 120% increase in the comments. So lots of people are coming to build in the SWE ecosystem. In, in our hackathons, we've had over 700 submissions with various hackathons, whether it's AI or, or pure crypto. 
But overall, builders love building on SWE. They love building with Deepbook. We're seeing people learning SWE move in something around three to four days. Contrast that with EVM and Solidity, um, Solidity um, um, even SVM, where people are finding very difficult um, to get very fluent very, very quickly. So it is a language for those who understand object-oriented programming models that can build um, on SWE very, very quickly. That was the design premise beside uh, what we designed at Facebook. So I just want to make the point that while we're at Facebook, we saw a big opportunity to redefine how the internet works. Um, companies like Facebook don't wake up and decide to just own your data. It's, it's way easier for them to coordinate actions in centralized systems than to do that with third parties. So you end up building empires. So while at Facebook, we built a soft, um, piece of software called Libra or DM that you, a lot of you know about. Um, when we left Facebook, we did not fork Libra or Diem. We actually started something from scratch. So SWE is not a derivative of Libra or Project Diem at Facebook. It was a ground-up build from day one to solve and tackle the more harder problems in crypto and distributed systems. This is why we've seen performances that dwarfs what everyone else has been able to, to actually achieve. Um, it's an object-oriented programming model that developers who write in C++, write in C Sharp, write in other um, programming languages can pick up very, very quickly. Overall, the developer experience is very, very frictionless. Again, these are all the things we've done. I want to talk about what we are going to be doing. Um, Mr. Seti launched last year, brought latency, end-to-end uh, -end finality down to 400 milliseconds. We're going to be launching Mr. Seti V2 very, very soon. That's going to see uh, actually reduce the amount of um, CPU cycles required for verifying um, transactions. That means we're going to see a 2.5x increase in throughput. Um, we'll report those numbers very, very soon. And of course, um, Remora, which is our horizontal scaling solution, is also going to be going live. Um, RPC upgrades, um, we're going to be releasing also into production seal, the ability for you to coordinate and share secrets directly on chain, whether you want to store it on Warris as a storage layer, you want to store it in AWS as your centralized storage provider, you want to store that data on Solana, wherever you want to store it. But a secret can be managed with a distributed set, um, set of validators that do that for you. It is the first time this has been possible. It uses something called identity-based encryption. So there's no need for individuals to manage keys. Um, Scion would also be something would be um, going live soon. Scion, the goal behind Scion is to give you a very um, robust path on the internet. So SWE is going to adopt that very soon. Even if the you know, TCP IP stack of the internet goes down, you'll still be able to route um, using SWE directly. More on that, there's a lot more that we're doing. You're going to see an improvement in things like pass keys to use for wallets directly with a chain. To be clear, it is the SWE blockchain that verifies your session with Google when you do ZK login. It is also the SWE blockchain that does the verification of the pass keys directly on chain as well. So we also have an algorithm coming live soon um, that would allow you to recover your lost seed phrases if you ever lost them. And to do that algorithmically, no need to keep any secrets. All these things are only going to make it safer for people to manage crypto who generally aren't as educated on what seed phrases are. Um, we are building, as you see, we have a number of protocols we're building at Mission Labs. When we raised capital in our Series A, we made it clear to investors that Building a layer one is not of our interest only. We are trying to solve a more fun foundational problem with the internet, and that's going to take a number of protocols and platforms to make it possible. Um, we launched Steel, we launched SWE, we have Warus, we have Remora. All these things come together to build a new form of the internet. Um, we believe what we're building is an ecosystem that will be worth trillions of dollars in the future. Ultimately, one of the areas that we are finding a lot of value is solving the problems in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity as a whole is about $9 billion a year in losses. That is the third largest economy in the world, by bar none. The average losses is close to 4 to $5 million. 1.1 billion alone was paid out in ransomware. And the amount people are spending in cybersecurity is in the $200 million range. And that's increasing on an annual by annual basis. Um, we had mentioned before that we believe in the EVM space you'd have seen a hack of over a billion dollars. That happened, we saw that with Bybit. If you had built this using the Walrus stack, with SWE for coordination and also SEAL for um, secret management, you'd have had something called binary transparency, which ensures that upgrades do not happen without your say-so, but also you know you're engaging with a piece of code that's invalidated. 
So we believe we'll do a lot of damage to ransomware attackers in the future using the sweet stack as a whole. That's a big area that we're going to disrupt uh, significantly with our tech stack. That is not possible anywhere else, even with centralized providers. So rather than paying FireEye on all these things, what we call whack-a-mole, you can solve the heart of a problem directly using Seal, SWE, and Walrus. Also, that money that you're not spending on dealing with cybersecurity issues, you can spend on actual innovating and building better, cooler products as a whole. So we've always said, and we always still firmly believe, that gaming is going to drive the mass adoption of Web3. By 2030, we would like to get these 3.3 billion gamers directly on chain. Um, and the way we do that is a number of ways. Um, we announced the launch of the Sweet Play Zero X1. Actually, at Basecamp, people are playing with it to, um, right now. Um, I think 250 of them shipped today. The device is sold out, and it's shipping from today all the way on to the end of summer. Um, this device has an operating system called the PlayOS. This operating system will do boot with your Windows machine. It would run on your phone. It would run on any hot, um, handheld device, similar to what um, Google did with a Pixel device, having a premium device to hand. And OEMs can build whatever they want and put the same operating system in. Wherever this operating system goes, there'll be a sweet wallet integrated deeply into it. Just by user logging in by a username and password, they have a, an account and they have a username which you use to send money. No need for wallet addresses, just a simple naming service. What is your wallet address? My name is John at whatever. Use that as a mechanism for sending money. No need to worry about long, paraf um, long phrases for uh, wallets as a whole. So we are going to turbocharge what you do in gaming using this handheld, but overall other OEMs are going to be building competing devices to the Sweet Laser X1 using the same operating system. Distribution is key and the gaming OS needs a revamp. This device lets you play Steam, Epic, GOG, and other Web3 games, and it's actually launching with a slew of Web3 games as well uh, on day one. As I made the point, SWE is not just an L1. We're t we're, our vision is really rebuilding the internet, and rebuilding the internet is very, very hard. It's some of the world's di most difficult problems to solve, and just waving our hands and saying we're gonna do a blockchain doesn't solve that problem. We need to solve storage, we need to solve security, we need to solve cryptography, we need to solve uh, compute, computation, right? Um, we have something called Nautilus coming out live soon. It allows you to verify um, trusted compute units directly on chain. There are a plethora of things that the internet needs to solve these foundational problems. So an L1 is not just it. Going back, so it's an ecosystem of powerful protocols where innovators can actually come and build. And we believe it's only on forkable network because of the complexity and immensity of the things that you can actually do with it. The composability that is afforded to you by the layer one is something that's not comp compounded anywhere else. We also announced, uh, announced um, our acquisition of a company called Parasol. Parasol is um, a SWE, um, was initially a partner just building using the SWE um, tech stack. But they're working with some of the largest IP providers in the world in Japan. There'll be a lot of news coming out in regards to that. I don't want to say much on that today. But that covers it. Thanks very much, everyone.